Happy first day of school. I'm filming this on Wednesday, the first day of school at St. Mark's School. And it is so exciting to be back and to be having my photo taken, just like so many of our students uh, had their photos taken by their parents this morning in what I like to affectionately call the first day mugshot. Yes, the first day mugshot. I know uh, my Facebook, my social media, Instagram is flooded with pictures of students just starting their first day and some of those little kids are so cute. They've got their chalkboard held high, their teeth are smiling, their uniform freshly ironed. But what really kind of gives me a kick are those seniors, those 12th graders who are in their last first day of school K through 12. 18 year olds who have been forced to comb their hair and hold that tired and true chalkboard sign up for their parent who is gleefully taking one last picture. And you can see on their face kind of their evolution as a student to see how they've changed and grown uh, and that that relationship they have with their parents written kind of all over their face. It's, it's priceless, quite frankly. And it made me think about how we track time. Really those first day snapshots are a way of, of marking time through our children's journey of growing up, going through kindergarten and lower school, middle school and high school. And it's a way of seeing how time allows us to grow and change. I, I wonder if we took a snapshot of our soul what, that's, what those snapshots of our soul would reveal to us as time clicked on through the changes and chances of this life. Realizing that as we go up to the mountain to be with God and, and down into those darker valleys that sometimes come out of nowhere, that our soul changes too as we walk that walk with Jesus. That if we could go back and, and look at at those snapshots of our soul, we would see that we have been changed, that we have grown, that we have, we have been loved and nurtured, and sometimes we have been disappointed, and, and we become resilient in order to meet the challenges of the days ahead. One thing I do know, though, is that if we could look at those snapshots of the soul, it would be so cool to turn that camera around and see God holding that camera, taking that picture of us year after year after year, and seeing God's face beaming brightly with pride and with affection and with love for who we are and who we are to become in his presence. I pray that you would, you know, be able to hold your head high, that you would embrace that love that God has for you even as life takes its twists and turns over these many years. And remember that God is there with you and for you, rooting you on every step of the way. Happy first day. We'll see you Sunday.